the setup wizard screen looks like this, then you're running a version of the code previous to version 10. And in this case, you'll need to run through the wizard setup and then do a firmware upgrade. So let's just very quickly do that. We begin by choosing the language. Next, we'll choose a system name. So I'll just leave it at the default because we're not really doing anything with this. Again, there's country code. We won't set up mesh in this example. Uh, we will leave the IP address as is. We'll go through. Uh, we don't want to create a wireless network at this point. Hit next, admin. I'll just add a password. We won't create a user account. Hit next, next, accept the terms. And then finally, we are in. And now I can connect up to the zone director, put in the password. And as soon as I log in, there's a couple of things to check. First of all, which version of the code are we currently running? And we can see that up here, it's version 9.12. Secondly, we need to check if we're actually entitled to upgrade the zone director. So let's have a look here, uh, support, and we can see here that we don't have a uh, entitlement, a support entitlement for this zone director. In that case, we need to contact Rucker support and pick up a file. Now, bear in mind, if it's a new zone director, you almost certainly won't see this because you do have um, support built in for a period of time with new zone directors. So this is only if you have factory reset a old zone director that you're reconfiguring or if you have a zone director where the warranty has expired. I've now been in touch with Ruckus and I have obtained a support entitlement for this zone director and we can see here that it tells us that our serial number for the zone director um, we have an entitlement that starts on this date, ends on this date, and it's active. We can also check entitlement here, and it should tell us that we have the latest support entitlement file. So that's fine. So that means now I can go ahead and perform my firmware upgrade. So now we know that we need to upgrade the firmware for the Zone Director. Let's head over to the support.ruckuswellness.com website and log in with our user account. So if you don't have an account, then talk to Ruckus. Um, so make sure that you do have access to the support website. And once we've logged in, the first thing we will do is head over to the software downloads section here and select, choose a product, scroll down until we see Zone Director. I'm going to select the Zone Director 1200, which is the model that we're working on. So there's a couple of things that are worth checking out here. The first one is documents that relate to the Zone Director. Uh, what's new, for example, in Code 10, which is important to know. Uh, release notes, very important to have a look at the release notes. And the reason for this is because it contains information on things like the supported access points or things that are changed. And so if you have a live system that you're upgrading, then you really need to have a look at the caveats and known issues and all the other information that's in here that will tell you whether your upgrade will be supported, for example, or whether you may have some incompatibility issues and also the new features that you would like to know about. So there is the um, Zone Director release notes for code 10. And once we've had a look at that, we need to head over to the downloads and we will choose the ING file. And this is the version that we're interested in. It's 122 meg. So we'll hit to download, accept the conditions and download. This will take a few minutes to come in. So as soon as we have it, I'll come back to you. So here we are now ready to upgrade. So we'll go to administer and upgrade. And here we can choose the file. So let's select the file. So this is the IMG file that we downloaded earlier from the support website. We'll click open. Now it's going to take a couple of minutes because the firmware is actually going to be uh, transmitted and sent up to the zone director. So it won't do the upgrade until it has the firmware. So I shall pause here and come back to you once it's uploaded. So the upload is underway now and here we have a warning asking us if we would like to back up the zone director. So if you have a live system, this is always the best strategy. Uh, I don't have any config on here because this is just for a demo. So I'm going to hit cancel and now it shows us the upgrade file is ready and it's time to upgrade. So we hit upgrade 
accept the confirmation and away we go and this is the message that we'll get on the screen we won't be able to log in services on the control will be down now don't forget as soon as the firmware is upgraded into the zone director also the access points will upgrade to this version of the firmware so do expect some network downtime and I'll get back to you once the upgrade is complete and very quickly just to show that during the upgrade you do get a status percentage of how complete the upgrade is so that will settle your mind as to the stage that you're at with the upgrade finally we show a system restart message and here we can see that the system is now restarting and when we see this page we know that the upgrade has gone successfully because this is the code 10 front page so let's just log in and have a quick look and just confirm uh, now it may be that it still has some system services that are that are still starting up so it might be a little bit slow to respond at this point but we should be okay let's see if we can get in now yes indeed we can here we are now inside the zone director running code version 10 and in the next modules you'll learn a bit more about the GUI and the operations